All right, all right, all right. We are live. What is going on, everybody in the chat? We got the guppies rolling here. The guppy emojis, not the guppies. Excuse me. But uh, welcome into the stream. It is Monday, March 11th. And uh, I'm feeling spicy today. I feel like we're going to win something. We're going to hit something big today. We'll probably throw together some sort of a DraftKings or FanDuel parlay, something like that. But I'm feeling good. How are we feeling in the chat? Let's go. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button as well. Um, I feel like we got to start doing more streams because after each and every Monday, right, that stream ends, I'm like, I'm like itching for the next day or the next Monday, I should say, stream to start. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll start involving some more streams. I've teased some stuff probably coming in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, first off, probably no stream next week. So talk about going from a high to a low. Um, I'm traveling to South Carolina, so I will not be, uh, and I won't be back by Monday. So we'll see. We'll still be putting out some content there in videos and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, shout out to everyone in the chat again. Make sure we're running up those likes and hitting that subscribe button as well. We might as well just jump into looking at some of the injury news and the lineups. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right. Starting off with this Charlotte and Detroit game, um, Thompson is a game-time decision. You can see a bunch of guys still out for Charlotte. One player prop that we've already locked in um, is Vaseline Milicic here. Uh, Milicic, however you say his damn name. We took his under 7.5 assists for plus money earlier today. Um, in terms of the Phoenix and Cleveland game, Devin Booker is a game-time decision. Donovan Mitchell, Evan Mobley, Max Struess, Dean Wade, Tristan Thompson, and Ty Jerome all out in this spot. They've been injured for a while. Mitchell was game-time decision I believe earlier right earlier in the day I think when we did our NBA video this morning um, but now he's been ruled out Dallas actually healthy we took them three and a half and I think the spread is yeah four and a half four right now so we got some good value at taking them at three and a half minus three and a half um, Torrey Craig game time decision here for Chicago um, no major other injuries to note there no Steph Curry Still out. Moody and Green, both game time decisions. Devin Vassell, game time decision here. If Devin Vassell does not play, I actually don't mind uh, Julian Sampagny's uh, over five and a half points. It sounds crazy, but if it's just really like Wembenyama and then, you know, someone like Champagne, like I don't mind his five and a half. So maybe we look into that in a little bit. Here's where things get a little bit weird and interesting. This is an, oh my God, I, my eyes get tired reading this injury report. Still a bunch of guys for Toronto. RJ Barrett was in the starting lineup. He's listed as probable here. Denver looking fairly healthy. And so we do have some guys actually getting ruled in here. So this morning, Chris Stops was out. Drew Holiday was questionable, Derek White was questionable, Jason Tatum was questionable, and Jalen Brown questionable. Looks like out of all that, just Drew Holiday is out, as with Porzingis. Um, and tons of guys on the Portland side of things. So that is what we're looking at in terms of injuries for today. And like I said, I think we're going to build a uh, build a little bit of a parlay here. So um, we could probably start on DraftKings, and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Drop some plays in the comments, guys. I really want to get to a bunch today, but as you guys know, I say it every time. We can't get to every single comment. It's one of like the, you know, it's like a good problem to have, I guess, um, in a sense, because it's like as we grow, as we get more people in the stream, it really does suck because I want to be able to respond to every single person and stuff like that. But uh, as we, we grow, it just, you know, we can't get to every comment. So that I apologize for in advance. But if you don't, if you see me skipping over your comment and stuff, feel free to ask it again. Just don't spam. Don't spam. You know, you know who spams? The guppies. The guppies spam, all right? So don't spam. All right, we're tweeting out the link right now. I'm going to throw it in the chat if you guys could go show it some love here. Um, let's see. Boom, I'm going to put it in the chat for you guys. If you guys don't mind heading over to X slash Twitter and, and retweeting it and whatnot, getting some more faces in here. But let's jump into it here. Um, all right, we're starting with Collins. Isaiah Stewart, over 17 and a half points plus, re, plus rebounds, uh, cashed in his last two meetings here. All right, let's head into Outlier. Guys, you know that I love Outlier. We'll drop that link in a little bit. Actually, why wait? Why like tease you guys, right? This is the tool that we rely on heavily for our player props. Guys, I absolutely love Outlier. I've seen me using it for like over a year now, right? So if you do want to check it out. But we are over on Outlier right now, and we're looking at Isaiah Stewart. So again, if we look back to the injuries here, is there anything that we got to be, I guess, cognizant of? Not really, no. Nothing nothing major. And again, like, these bigs should have a decent game. I don't mind this just off the, the rip, this thought. So you said over 7, was it 17 and a half points plus rebounds? 
jumping right into it. So 18 and a half is what we see, but we can probably get 17 and a half on um, uh, potentially on DraftKings as a alternate line, I'm assuming. So let's look at 17 and a half. He's hit it in, it looks like he's hit it in two of his last three. I know you mentioned uh, last two meetings. Okay, gotcha. He's hit in four straight meetings, actually. Power forwards here. Charlotte actually isn't all that terrible. Um, points plus rebounds. This is uh this is going to give us a uh let's see Stewart going to give us a breakdown of you know the team the types of player that he is uh, going up against that team so we're looking at against Charlotte we're looking at points first and foremost he's a SC1 and an SH5 what this pretty much is a breakdown of guys by the way I know we've shown it on stream before but pretty much uh, they rank you or put you in a class based on where you shoot from and how you score so he's an SH5 and an SC1 um, from this site here from points we're looking at Charlotte um, so Charlotte yeah, middle of the pack there. Scoring-wise, Charlotte's actually been looking like they're pretty good against this spot. But again, last four meetings, two of which coming this season, I don't mind that. Let's see if we can get that over on DraftKings as an alternate line here. So points plus rebounds, right? Do we have alternate point plus rebounds? Isaiah Stewart, let's see, 16. We could do 16 plus, right? You said, or you said over eight, so 18 plus. Let's see. We'll throw this to a poll. I don't mind the look. I don't think this game's going to end in a blowout. I don't really see any reason why he can't grab, you know, like like 10 points, even 10 rebounds in a sense. Let's send this one to a poll to start things off coming in from Colin. Jump into the polls right away. Let's do it. Let's do it. Back and forth. If you guys are new, we need this to be 55% or more. 55% or more for us to consider it for uh, a win here, okay? Because I want it to be a consensus among the community, right? 50, if it wins like 51, 49, that ain't it. So we get that additional 5% that it needs to get. Again, um, he's hit this in four straight here against that team. Uh, last 20 hitting 60, 60% and then 70% of his last 10 and in three of his last five. Charlotte. Looks like they could prevent him. Um, let's look at last seven games against power forwards. It looks like they've actually been pretty good somewhat defensively. And actually, no, last seven games, look at how they've been. They've allowed the second most points. So this starts to look even better. Now, scorers like him, that's what we looked at, right? Scorers like him. Um, they have been decent against. Uh, shooters like him, they have not been all that decent against, right? Kind of middle of the pack. This is the first pick, Sean. We ain't got nothing in there yet. We're looking at Isaiah Stewart, 18 plus points plus rebounds. We're on this poll for a little bit longer, but it looks like that could be a win. Right now, it's 58%. Let's get some more votes, guys. If you are in here, and two things. You're not voting, you're slowing down the stream, right? Just go vote. It's anonymous. No one knows who you're picking, and you can kind of have your say in the stream and in the community slip that we build together. So it's kind of a no-brainer if you ask me. And... If you're down there, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the like button, all right? A lot of people in the comments not liking uh, Isaiah Stewart, but silent majority so far. But again, it needs to be 55% or more. Let's go to the stopwatch because this is the first one um, that we have here. So we'll go with a 30-second stopwatch. Let's start it up, and he's got to be 55% or more. Right now, he's at 55%, yes. And again, guys, keep in mind, you can always fade these, alter them, anything like that, right? You know what I mean? But if you don't like it, make sure to hit no. If you like it, make sure to hit yes. But this is your chance to have a say in the community parlay. I rhymed and I didn't even mean to. Four, three, two, one. Ending poll. Let's see what we got. 
The poll is in final results, 58%. Yes, that makes it. Um, what we can do, maybe we bump this down a little bit because it wasn't a resounding yes. We could bump it to 16. Maybe we'll revisit that later on. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys think that that's a good idea. But let's keep it going. Jake says Stewart sucks. I mean, he doesn't. Like, like we, we could say head-to-head here, like, he's done fairly well against them. You know what I mean? We're going to want the minutes. Like, look at his last 10. The minutes have been there, which is good to see. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't mind, if you guys don't like that, fade it, right? We're gamblers. You can... I'm so stupid. You can always fade the picks. All right, let's jump into another one here. Um, we'll keep it going. Uh, let's see. Wembenyama, two and a half first quarter rebounds. Is Wembenyama on a... I actually see that in the comments too. Is Victor Wembenyama on a minutes restriction? Let's see. Shout out calling our shot. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it like this. Let's see if we can go in, look at some of his player news, perhaps. He's not listed on the injury report. He's returning to action, maybe limited in his first game back, but he'll start. Um, okay. So he's probably going to be somewhat limited, but he's starting. So if we are looking at his first quarter rebounds, like we are here, two and a half, then, and let's see if, is that, whoa, whoa, whoa. If we're looking at his first quarter rebounds, then we shouldn't worry about minutes restrictions, right? Where is it at? First quarter rebounds. It's at two and a half. He's been cashing it as of late. He's averaging, where is it? Seven minutes in the first. Going up against Golden State, I don't think they're going to be all that great rebounding-wise. Just, I mean, they're a decent rebounding team. Um, like, they, they try hard on the boards, but they're just too small, especially for a guy like Wemby, right? Uh, so where are they at? Yeah, like I said, they're kind of middle of the pack there. Can we get first quarter rebounds in this spot? Let's see. Player rebounds. Get rid of this. Let's go X plus. No. We are looking for first quarter, right? Okay. First quarter rebounds. We only see... Actually, first quarter. Here it is. Wemben... I'm not even in the right game. Early womp womp for the boys out here. All right. So rebounds. I was like, Wemben Yama's not in here. Um, all right, first quarter rebounds, where are we at? Over two and a half, that would be what we're looking at. Again, he's been crushing this as of late. Uh, only had two rebounds in six minutes against Golden State earlier in the year, so let's keep that in mind, but let's throw this one to a poll as well. The Warriors are small, not Victor Wembanyama. Uh, Dark, I actually put out a video on my YouTube shorts here of a couple plays that I like to pair with that Cade one. They also had the Victor Wembanyama one. I don't know if that's expired, but definitely go check check that one out. Let's see what we got here. First quarter rebounds for Victor Wembanyama. This is a parlay. Again, it kind of stinks when, or if a parlay in the first quarter does not go through, but, but, we'll see. Damn, Jake, just in one of those moods, huh, man? 62% of the poll ain't, ain't agreeing with you right now. Again, guys, Victor Wembenyama is, I don't even know what I just said. Victor Wembenyama is probably going to be on a minutes restriction. That's what we just saw here, but uh, he's going to start. So I'm thinking he probably gets some run in the first quarter, right? Um, and then maybe comes back down to earth minutes-wise. So we'll see. But I don't mind looking at his, his, uh, I guess his his first quarter stuff. Uh, you're gonna do prize picks, no DraftKings in Texas, Ryan. I would just say we're gonna do DraftKings tonight, but these lines are most of them. Some of them should be available on prize picks. If not, that's unfortunate. But yeah, prize picks altered in Massachusetts as well. We have the arena now, but um, every every you know every stream we kind of do some different stuff. Today I just was was feeling like putting together a big DraftKings thing. So if any of this info helps you, I hope that's the case. Um, we shall see, but, uh, um, you know, I mean, I, we'll see if we get to prize picks tonight. We'll do DraftKings at first. That's what I should say. Um, <laughs> Jake's fading everything. All right, so I think this Victor Wembenyama one gets the uh, the seal of approval there. 
Uh, that ain't that bad. So let's see. I'm going to start putting in these so that if you want to take them on another sports book, it is possible. We'll put that in uh, later on. So I'm going to start adding these. That's what a cool thing about Outlier here is you can just add to. So let's see. I'll show you. Uh, points plus rebounds. We had him 17 and a half. You can add it to your picks. You could see which these are plays from earlier. Actually, you could see which plays are uh, available where. Um, so right now, DraftKings is the only one offering these, but Caesars and FanDuel both have that Wembenyama play. So we'll throw that link down there uh, in a little bit. But so far, this is what we have. It's a plus 185 locked in or parlay right away. Do we go big? Do we go big here? Or do we just kind of like lock this in? I, I meant <laughs> we always build the big ones. I said I was feeling spicy today, but that's a good question. Um, Braylon and Peyton, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that to a poll. How many legs should we do here? Um, let's see. I don't know if we can. We'll do two. We'll do two, three. Four. Hell, we'll go five. Okay, so no six as of right now. Two, three, four, five. We already have two. So if we lock this in, we could start a new one. That type of thing. So let's see what we got, though. Vote on that poll so we can kind of get out of here as soon as possible. We'll build multiple parlays then, all right? We'll try and build some multiple parlays. Um, FYI. Make sure you're voting on that. And guys, make sure you're hitting that like button as well. Hitting that subscribe button. I see the uh, banner popped up. Make sure to check out some Fade Me merch. We got tons of cool stuff over there as of right now. Um, the Money Gun Collection is out, everything like that. So uh, go ahead and check that out, guys. If you do want to support us a little bit further, go ahead and check out FadeMe.store. I'll throw that in the, uh, in the comments here as well. You guys can go pick up some awesome merch. Use code, we'll say use code STREAM like we did last week. You guys will get a discount at checkout. I got to set that up right now. Perks of being the boss. I can literally be like, let's run this discount. I'll ask myself. I approve. All right. All right. Code stream is set up. That was so easy. All right. looks like we're going to do. Oh, this is close. Four leg or a three leg. Once this gets to 80 votes, we'll stop it. So we have 78 votes right now. Let's see. One more vote, and this thing is toast. We're not going to get that last vote, are we? All right. Looks like we're going to do a four-leg parlay. So I'm going to throw that in the chat right now. All right, we're cooking with gasoline, guys. We're cooking with fire. All right, let's get some more plays in here. Um, I'm sure I've probably missed some already, but let's keep it going. Edward, uh, Edward says, Aaron Gordon, Gordon over eight and a half rebounds. Was it rebounds plus assists here? Let's see. Let's jump back into Outlier. Let's see what we got. He's getting the start at the power four position. I always check that, guys. You might be thinking, oh, that's obvious. But you know what? The way the NBA is, like, <laughs> you never know where they're putting these guys. Um, all right, so rebounds plus assists. Opponent, kind of middle of the pack there for Toronto. We're looking at eight and a half, though. Seven of his last ten. Only in one of his last three, and it came last year. Last 20, he's at in 55%, 66% on the season. Let's go to, let's let's check out last seven games against power forwards here, how Toronto's done. So allowing plenty of rebounds, allowing plenty, where's the assists? Middle of the pack for assists, so not terrible. Um, I don't necessarily mind that spot. Let's see what we could get for odds, actually. Um, like, not odds, but let's see what we could do in terms of potentially altering that line, Maybe. We go back into courtside pal, which guys, this is a this is an absolute great uh, great tool as well. Let's put this in the chat. This just allows you to like they build archetypes for players and player types, um, and it just allows you to see how some teams play against it. Do I put a lot of weight into it? Not always, because who's to say Aaron Gordon is going to play like a 
SH7, a score or two, a playmaker two, and a rebounder four tonight, right? Like, that doesn't always happen. But, you know, I guess more often than not, you're going to play like your, your play style. Um, so we're down here. Team ranks versus player types. Rebounds. Toronto, terrible against guys like him. Terrible against guys like him. And then from a playmaking standpoint, also not that great. Okay, this may be a good look. Maybe a good look here. So again, that's why it's important to look because he's not just your, your typical power forward, right? And this is not necessarily even worrying about rebounding. It's taking his height, weight, mass, and where he shoots from and how he plays into account. So uh, yeah, let's throw this bad boy into a vote. Aaron Gordon, over eight and a half rebounds plus assists. I don't mind that at all, especially after looking at that, to be honest. Boy, we have we have almost 300 people in the stands right now. 67 likes. Come on now. Hit that like button. I'll pump up some crowd noise. You guys can get pumped up after you're playing in front of the home crowd. Hit that like button, guys. Come on now. It definitely helps us out, um, helps the stream see more people. It's telling YouTube that you guys are liking this content. So if you are in here and are liking the content, hit that like button. I know it's corny to ask and ask for you to subscribe, but uh, it is the business, right? Like, you know, if, if you go to work, uh, you're going to do your job. Uh, so it's part of the job in a sense. You know what I mean? So if you wouldn't mind taking two seconds, hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button, it would mean a hell of a lot. Um, let's see. Giovanni says blow up potential in that game and may limit Gordon. I agree. That, that is a good point. That is a good point. Yeah, it's nine and a half. Let's see what we got. Let's jump in because you could take nine and a half. So combo stats. If we can't get an alternate line of rebounds plus assists, then may chalk it. Let's see. Let's see where we're getting that alternate line. So that line is on FanDuel right now. So it would be nine and a half. So let's let's restart that poll just to make sure it's accurate. So that poll. So yeah, I should have checked DraftKings first. That is my bad. But obviously, if you can get eight and a half on FanDuel now, it's probably some value because it looks like it's nine and a half on most books. You know what I mean? So let's redo that poll. Apologies for that. I should have double checked. But we would be looking at, where is he at? Um, combo stats. We would be looking at this right here. Nine and a half. All right, that doesn't look, so So again, it, it this is probably the one that makes everyone say, oof, right? Because he hasn't been doing it. But uh, it looks like 74% of people saying uh, no. So <laughs> we're not taking that one. I don't mind that look though. I don't think that may not be a parlay play if that makes sense, right? Because like I said, like they do have a decent matchup and Toronto has been allowing the fifth most rebounds to power forwards over the last seven games. Maybe it's not a parlay play. Does that make sense? Like I said, you can always fade anything we're doing here. But realistically, it's like you some of these plays might be valuable as a straight bet. But maybe as the community, you know, the community doesn't consider it as lock enough for uh, for the the um, I guess for the, the the parlay right. So let's keep it going here, guys. Um, we'll jump back into jump back into uh, DraftKings and see if we can get anything going. What else we got in the chat? Um, what else we got in the chat? Nurkic over 14 and a half rebounds plus assists. It's coming in from Durkey. Let's see if we can check that out. Jump back into Outlier. So Nurkic, Yusuf Nurkic. What did we say? Over, oh man, I already lost it. Oh, 14 and a half rebounds plus assists. Wow, he's been cashing his first quarter rebounds. You got a first quarter assist. You guys seeing this? Getting an assist in the first quarter? Damn. But uh, all right, we're looking at rebounds plus assist. 14 and a half. He's cashed that in seven straight games, eight of his last 10. We don't have head-to-head -head against Cleveland here. We know Cleveland's going to be pretty good against centers um, because of Jarrett Allen. But as of late, how have they been if we were to rank this? So Cleveland actually allowing plenty of rebounds. And let's see, allowing mm, oh so a decent amount of assists. Nurkic in terms of rebound chances here in his last 10. 
23 rebound chances. I like to cut that in half and say, like, that should be the floor for rebounds. So 23 divided by two is, like, 11 and a half. So we'll say he should get 10 rebounds um, at bare minimum. This is where it could get a little dicey, right? Nurkic assists only. Actually, wow, that's way more than I would have thought. Seven potential assists for the big man. That is way more than I would have thought. That is really, really interesting, to be completely honest. Let's throw this to a poll. How is he, like, I just don't think of him. If we look at his assist numbers. Now, Booker could be coming back, guys. Uh, let's see if anyone said that in the chat now. Booker could be coming back. Do we have any news on Booker? Because that's going to eat up a few assists, but the rebounds are key. We're not just taking Nurkic assists, right? So Booker is probable. So let's say in games with Booker, this is great about Outlier. Um, games with Booker, how does he do? Still not terrible. His last 10 on the season with Booker, it's like 50. Like, we're not looking for him to hit his assists, right? We're looking for rebounds plus assists. So he still cashed it. Let's do with Booker again. All right, so it does, it does get a little dicey with Booker, all right? does get a little dicey with Booker, but like I said, let's throw this to a poll. Let's throw this to a poll. Definitely keep in mind that Booker is playing. That, that's what I ask of you guys. Um, all right, Helping Hands says, proud of you. Keep it up. Donating five bucks. Appreciate you. Thank you guys so much, and thank you specifically so much. We'll take it. Appreciate the donation there. All right, so people are liking this yo this Nurkic one, huh? Let's get to that game. And again, we're building a four leg. Did I put that? I, I put that in that. Yeah, building a four leg NBA parlay right now. So re player combos, rebounds plus assists. Nurkic fourteen and a half. People are liking it. You can change your vote. I see Grant saying I meant no. You, I think you, I'm pretty sure you can change your vote. We think rebounds could be better. Booker is a game time decision. Yep, he's listed as probable though. John, yep, it's exactly. That's when you're voting, everyone, I want you to realize that Booker could be coming back, and that may be literally like 10 assists taken away. Jack says his DraftKings better than FanDuel. I don't, FanDuel has a lot of value and a lot of good lines. I do think DraftKings has a bigger assortment of player prop lines and alternates and that type of thing, but I'm on all the books, man. I'm on all the books. It's whatever you can get the best line at, to be completely honest. Like, even if you have a book that, like, it's not as user-friendly and whatnot, but you can get some closing line value. You know, DraftKings fan will have something at minus 110, but, you know, ABC Sportsbook, and it's legal, and, and it's you can get your money and stuff like that, has it at, you know, plus 110. You want to take the, the one that has the best value, right? The best odds. As long as you're not going to get scammed and use some, uh, you know, from some dumb sports book, and you're never going to be able to withdraw. Um... All right, so people are liking this. I do think that rebounds might... I mean, Booker's going to take up, like, 10 assists, right? Like, he literally, Booker's going to take up, like, 10 assists, potentially. But he's coming off of an injury. Like, is he going to come back, like, fully strength? Like, we see this We see this number of, where is it at, seven potential assists um, per game. Like, that isn't going to be the case with Booker handling the ball a lot. But the people have spoken. Almost 100 votes in here. We'll end it. Nurkic, over 14 and a half rebounds plus assists. I do think... That, you know, if he's into a passing groove, like we've kind of seen, right? We flash up his assists again, get rid of this with Booker. Like, maybe he looks for it more. You know, they hit him on the corner, pass it down low, bounce pass, that type of a thing. Uh, so, I don't I don't mind it. We can add this. We can add this in. Um, did I already put that in over on DraftKings? 14 and a half. All right, we got three plays in right now, guys. We're looking for our last one. Yeah, we could do some sort of a same game parlay or something like that. Um, let's see. Steven or Stefan, I don't want to assume there um, how to pronounce that. DeMar DeRozan over 10.5 rebounds plus assists. What are, what are you guys doing with me, these rebounds plus assist lines tonight? So 
So he's been cr- crushing it. We know that this line, I believe, has gone up too. Um, decent matchup against Dallas is probably going to be an up-tempo game. I think the total sitting at like two something, right? Um, let's see. He's playing power forward. We can check that first. I think we're going to look at more like a small forward, right? But uh, where's Dallas? You know, towards the top in terms of rebounds allowed, assists, same thing, kind of middle-ish. Um, small forwards, maybe that's where we want to look more at, so it's allowing plenty of assists to small forwards. Uh, and where's the rebounds at? So rebounds, kind of middle of the pack there. I don't, I don't mind this look here because, again, no matter if it's shooting guard, small forward, or power forward, looks like, you know, you can get plenty of that. I think I leaned in this morning's video to his PRA, even though that thing gets, keeps getting inflated, inflated, inflated. It's probably the last time we lean that way. But 10.5 rebounds plus assists, I don't think is a terrible spot here. I don't think it's a terrible spot, and we don't have that game on the board yet. So this could be potential for our last pick in this four-leg parlay. Let's throw that to a vote. Let's throw that to a vote. We can keep looking into it as we get the votes going, but let's get some votes going. Um, and, uh, yeah, while you're voting, hit that like button too. Again, three you know, three and some change in the chat right now, only 116 likes. Shame on me for not putting on a good performance here. Player combos. Dema DeRozan, points, rebounds, plus assist. We got a lot of rebounds plus assist tonight, if that's the case. So this parlay would come to an 860 parlay for those four. I really don't mind that. Even if we check this. Um, all right, so what are we looking at? A playmaker six, rebounder one, going up against Dallas. Start with rebounds, Dallas. All right, okay, so definitely allowing a lot of production to his play type. And Playmaker, where's that at? Okay, middle of the pack. Nothing nothing that would sway me outside of that, right? And again, guys, if you are voting, this needs to be 55% or more when we close the vote. If it's 55% or more, we consider it consensus, and we lock it in, and uh, we'll get going on a new parlay here. Let's see, where are we at, DraftKings? Let's run this vote for, you know, we'll go 30. 33 seconds. Shout out, Larry Bird. I'm seeing tons of plays come through in the comments. I do. I do see them. We're trying to keep up. It's It ain't the easiest. But like I told you guys before, it is a good problem to have, but... All right, seven seconds, five, four, three, two, one. I don't think this is getting the job done here. That finished at only 52% for DeMar. So that ain't going to get the job done. All right, we're still searching for our last pick. I don't mind that as a single play, though. But again, I just think that, that line's getting really, really overinflated and, and I guess constantly kind of going up. So it is something to, to think about there. It's like... Is it inflated to its maximum? Like, is the balloon about to pop? Maybe not, but, you know, it's it's it, it could get there. Um, all right, let's get some more going here. Uh, Constantine says Duren over 12 and a half rebounds. I think we already have a play in that game, so we don't want to turn it into a same game parlay, but keep that thought if we want to come back to it in a second one, all right? In a second parlay. Um, the games that we have right now, Suns, Cavs, Warriors, Spurs, Hornets, Pistons. Don't want to turn this into a same game parlay or same game parlay X. So... Let's make sure that we are uh, not picking any games that are in here, all right? Uh, let's see. Guillerme says Dasunmo over four and a half assists. That doesn't like tickle my fancy right off the rip, but but I've been wrong plenty of times. So over four and a half assists. All right. He's hit it in seven of his last ten. Kind of trending decent. Did not look all that great against Dallas last time. Dallas last seven here, allowing assists. Decent amount, 5.5 there. Potential assists for him. I, all right, 10 potential assists a game. So that actually is the first bit of, like, green light go for it that I don't mind seeing, right? I don't mind seeing that. I yo. Dallas, where are you at? Where are you at, Dallas? All right, middle of the pack there, too. This is, we can throw this to a vote. This is like, I, I'm, I, I'll am i be curious to see where the poll comes out with this one, okay? 
because this does seem like a could go either way type of a play. A guy that ju- doesn't really get the ball and do much with it, um, kind of either just. I mean, he, I'm not giving enough credit there, but you know what I mean. Not necessarily a true playmaker, more of like run down, get to your spot, can be a catch and shoot guy, that type of thing. We'll see. Let's see where the poll comes out on him. Where where, where is his assists, anyways? What would that make this? So right now we already have a plus four thirteen parlay. We could easily just roll this, and if it hits, no one's complaining about it, right? We throw this in, it would be a plus seven sixty eight parlay. We'll see. Yeah, this poll is getting crushed. All right, Iodesunmo is going to be something that we we leave off for now here. <laughs> Kyle Kerms in the building says, who gave this clown a channel? Fade me, fade me, fade me, fade me. I don't know who gave this clown a channel. I think they let anyone on YouTube start a channel nowadays. Um, what's up, brother? Um, all right. Let's see. We're scrolling ahead just a little bit. Hype says Grayson Allen over two and a half three-pointers made. I think I saw this from someone else in the chat as well. So let's see what we're looking at here. I already forget who I said. Grayson Allen? Was it Grayson Allen? Grayson Allen over two and a half threes made. Oh, we already have that game. Yeah, no, duh. So we already have the the Suns and Cavs in. We're looking for a game anywhere else, okay? We have the Warriors, Spurs, Hornets, Pistons, and Suns, Cavs already kind of covered in this parlay. Eric says, Drew Holiday over one and a half three-pointers made. There's there's something that's a little interesting. Um, going up against the Blazers, I think Brown, we have news that Brown and Tatum are good to go, right? So Drew Holiday's out. I don't think he's making two threes tonight. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see what else we got here. Caleb says Jokic for one three. The volume is never there for the Joker. I mean, he might take a couple, but that that dude just will stare down. He's This is like the hardest bet to make because you just watch Jokic stand at the top of the key with the ball going like, and I'm like, shoot, shoot, shoot. So this is a tough one. Um, Toronto, yeah, yeah, this is this is a, a, t- a tough one here. It looks like it's super juiced as well. I don't think we send that to a poll. If that's a single bet that you like, go for it. Go for it. Jeez. <laughs> I said holidays out. You guys are jumping on me. Chris Paul over 10 and a half points. That's coming in from Kia. 11 and a half is what we have here. Do we have 10 and a half on DraftKings? Okay, we do. No Steph Curry. Obviously, that's going to be the, the main thing to note here. He's hit it in just a few without them. San Antonio allowing plenty of points to the shooting guard position. Or certainly the point guard position. This is with no Steph last time he played. He played 29 minutes at five points. Not loving that one, okay? That's that's probably they're allowing okay as of late they're allowing the fifth as well like I said so that's stayed strong that that's more of a singles bet I would say that's more of a singles bet I would say um let's see Nismo with the ten dollars donated here says Brad Marchand over 0.5 assists Pasternak over 0.5 assists and over 0.5 assists for an easy nine k same game parlay in the Bruins. Guys, go jump on that right now. Thank you, Nismo, for the $10 gifted there. Uh, take the ching. Appreciate you. I like that. As a Bees fan myself, that sounds great. I mean, you get one goal, and two of those guys could be checked off, right? You know what I mean? That'd be awesome. Yeah, people aren't liking that Chris Paul one, I guess. Um, let's see. Nikola Vucevic over 10 and a half points is coming in from Alec here. He dominated the la- the game last year. He always plays well against them. Um, Vucevic, his line's, his nine's 10 points. Uh, like, what, his first half? First half? Is that, that's what we're talking about?
Rebounds. Okay, you say rebounds. I was like, hey, I'm sure he's going to get 10 and a half points. Talk about a lock. All right, so if we go 10 and a half here, do we have it on DK? Yes, we do. He has cashed that in seven of his last 10, four straight games there as well. Head to head, he had 20 boards against them earlier in the year. You could see the matchup could be argued as pretty favorable. Like Daniel Gafford is a big that you can kind of, I mean, he's a big guy, but I'm not going to ne- necessarily sit here and be like, Daniel Gafford is going to, you know, maul Vucevic. Um, rebound chances here. 17.8 rebound chances per game. What would that do to the odds here? If this if this has some decent odds that we throw in, we could send this to a poll. Let's just go alternate 10 plus to make it kind of clean though, I guess. Actually, we'll see where this we'll see where this ends out uh, ends up first. Let's see. Vucevic, Vucevic, Vucevic. It's 11 half so it is it already is a, a uh, an alternate line, huh? 10 plus, where is it at? Nikola Vucevic, 10 and a half at minus 180. All right, plus six. Okay, we can send this to a poll. Plus 700 parlayed. No one's going to cry over that. And again, guys, a lot of people saying like no to these polls because they're like, oh, I want to get my pick in. We could build another parlay after this. Answer these honestly. It's a community parlay. Nothing better than winning and hitting that with, uh, you know, the community, right? And hit the damn like button. What are we doing here? You guys allergic to the like button? Achoo. Achoo. The uh, the outlier rank there, the higher would be the more. The higher would be the more allowed. It's saying like how many do they allow in that stat altogether. All right, let's send this one to a timer because it is a close one here. We got 60 votes. We'd love to see more, but let's run a let's run a 30 minute timer here. 30 minute timer. Wow. We'll be here forever or for 30 minutes. 30 second timer. Here we go. Do, do, do. Do we turn up the music while we have a timer going? No, because I'm not ready to head bob for 30 seconds. All right. Right as this ends, we'll hit end poll. And I think this could be our last play. All right. So a 669 parlay. We're going to send this in the group here as well. Did I miss one? Nurkic's. Nurkic's. All right, we're sending this in the group if you guys do want to tail this. Boom. All right, we'll take a screenshot and we will tweet this out and then we can get getting going on a new one. We'll build maybe another one or, you know, maybe a, a, a second one. I'm not sure yet, but, um, all right. Tweeting this out. I just tweeted it out. Go show that some love. Geo saying Discord. Yeah, Discord is... I want to get so much better at at Discord. I mean, (laughs) yeah. I'll I'll put the Discord link in here. That, That is for sure, for certain, a platform that, you know, is awesome. I just suck at at maintaining. Definitely need some more mods and stuff too. So DM me on a dis- uh, DM me on Discord, guys, uh, if you guys do want the chance to be a moderator there because we do have some awesome shout out to Dennis. Um, but yeah, plenty of stuff. There's a bunch of people in there giving picks and a lot of people talking. I just want to do a better job of being in there more often. You know what I'm saying? But all right, let's let's throw this up so you guys can see what we just rolled with here. 
first parlay of tonight's stream. We have 18 plus. Of that I forgot about that one. That seems like it's gonna be the sweatiest one, doesn't it? Isaiah Stewart. Uh, let's 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 do this. I'm gonna start a poll. Let's see if you guys think this cashes. And if you answer no, I want to see I want to see in the chat who you think sells this one. Who kills this one? But right now it's Isaiah Stewart, 17 and a half, so 18 plus points plus rebounds. Victor Wembanyama over two and a half first quarter rebounds. Nurkic over 14 and a half rebounds plus this and then 10 and a half uh, rebounds for Vucevic. Does it cash? And if you say no, if you say no, let me know who you think sells it. If I had to rank it, I'd probably go, I think this one is a, a lock. Wow, this is this is tough. You know, I would say I'd say this one I have the most confidence in. Then it's probably Vucevic, but no kidding, alternate minus one eighty. Then Nurkic, which is weird enough, and then Isaiah Stewart. I think, I think. Let's see, who you guys are saying uh, Stewart's got me leg, uh, got me nervous coming in from Roy. Um, Isaiah sells it. That's from Kieran. <laughs> Yenu says I don't know about Isaiah. Uh, and not, okay, so Vucevic getting some votes here. All right, so you know what's crazy? <laughs> what's crazy is that all you guys are like, there's a bunch of ones. There's a bunch of ones that could that could uh that could could sell this, which is which is great. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I was expecting like a, a unanimous decision, which seems like Stuart might be the lead here, but everyone's just like, oh, any of those could sell at any moment. But the most of you guys say that it should it should be able to cash there. All right. All right, at least at least that is at that is you know majority majority of you guys think that that has a chance to cash. All right, let's run up the likes here. If we can get to 180 likes, actually we we'll go 175. Right, 160 right now. Let's get to 175, and then we can get going on a second parlay here. Um, and as we do that, I'll start a poll to see how many legs of a parlay we'll build. We already did a two, so we'll do two, three, or five for this one. But make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Subscribe if you're new as well. But once we get to that like mark, 175, we'll start a new parlay. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like giving you ultimatums now out here. Oh, <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people thinking that this has, this has some chances to, to sell, huh? Which is fair. Looks like three is easily going to get this win. Oh, interesting. Now you guys crush the like button. I hold you hostage and you crush the like button, huh? Interesting. All right. All right, we can jump back in, start building another parlay, get going, getting ourselves recalibrated here. Again, we sent that link. Um, I'll send it again just for the, the last one here, so copy the link. But make sure you guys are following me over on Twitter as well. I just posted that right now. Um, make sure you juice that. I'll post that link again if you guys do want to check it out. Go like that and retweet it if you can. Definitely helps us out. But, all right, we'll get to building another one now. We're going to build a three-man parlay, which I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. Steven says, also, congrats. Uh, Steven, is it Steven or Stefan? Let me know, because I want to I want to get it right, because you comment a lot. Um, also, congrats on taking this on full-time. Yeah, if you guys aren't aware, um, we made a video about it on the channel, but uh, as of March 1st, we're, we're doing content full-time, which is mind-blowing to me. Like, the amount of, it sounds corny, but the amount of thank- Thanks that I have in my body to try and give you guys like absolutely crazy. Like you're talking about uh, people like, why do you do this for free? Or I get approached all the time for people being like, you should sell your picks. And it's like one, come on, we're all, we're sports betters here. Like we're going to win some, lose some. Why would I ever have someone pay for something that is not guaranteed? Right. Um, and, and two, it's like, 
I want to have more, not fun because we want to be right, but like I want to have more fun doing this than it is just, well, people are only going to tune in because you have this percent hit rate. Like we have a brand called Fade Me. If I go into an absolute dark hole of loss, 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 you guys can go ahead and fade me and make some money off it. You know what I mean? Just do the opposite of what I say. Like, I'm okay with that. Like, as long as you're betting and not betting too much, you know what I mean? Should be fun. But, uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, that's a good idea. I do want to do more and more live streams. Like, we focus on player props in these live streams. Um, thanks, Steven. Um, I do want to do more and more of, of that type of thing. So, I mean... I have this thought, I've said it on stream before, but what I really want to do is once a week, twice a week, something like that, like almost have, it's not going to be like nine to five, but have like a nine to five stream of literally everything I'm going through throughout the day. Cause we're doing this all day long, right? Researching, finding stuff. What you guys see me go through on stream here is like a percentage of what we actually do before making something a final play. I think it could be a really cool sort of chill hangout day in the life of, you know, finding these sports plays and doing that all day. Like, I think that could be really, really cool. So that's definitely a live stream that we want to do. There'd be plenty of things, you know, parlays, spreads, totals, player props. We cover it all. I, I really do think that'd be really, really fun. But all right, I'm rambling at this point. Big time rambling. Let's jump back in here. We're going to do some player prop parlays, and we're going to build a three-man parlay here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and drop some plays in the comments. What do we think? So we put 10 bucks on that bad boy, potential payout of 80 bucks. Yes, guys, I don't go and throw uh, you know, a normal amount on these community parlays. It's, it's, it's more for the, like, honestly, winning this, it'd be more of like the vibe, and we get to celebrate it together than it is like, oh, like I can, like I have this money in my pocket. Um, two twenty-five boost on Luca to score, <laughs> record a triple double. Do we do it? What's the the max on this? Ten dollars. See, and that's why I don't sell picks. All right, let's jump in, start building stuff. What else we got? Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um. Let's start with this one. Jimmy J says, Kevin Durant over one and a half threes. All right. Durant over one and a half threes. They're playing the Cavs here, which that Cavs defense, let's see, Cavs game number two on my model here. That perimeter defense of the Cavs is pretty good. Makes me a little, little worried there, but Durant is getting the power forward. Durant power forward here. Three-pointers made. The Cavs actually, actually, yeah, middle of the, where are they at? Am I missing them? I'm literally missing the Cavs. Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. Oh, okay. Towards the top. So fourth most threes made. Uh, let's see what he's done against the Cavs lately. If we have that data. Four straight games. He's hit it in. We don't have the head-to-head -head, um, since being a son there. Uh, let's head into courtside here. Durant. This is just going to tell us, does he have a good scoring night, to be completely honest, or his shooting night? Doesn't necessarily mean three-pointers made, okay? Players like him struggle against the Cavs from shooting and from scoring. So maybe we stick... That's probably that's probably a single bet, not something to roll with a parlay, I would say, because I don't mind it uh, because he's been hitting it. And, like, the volume's been there to some degree, 8, 7, right? Um, but in terms of a parlay, we probably stick away from that, if that makes sense. All right, what else we got? What else we got here? I'm skipping ahead a little bit here. Uh, Marcio says, Devin Vassell over 21.5 points. Vassell, is he questionable? Is he playing? He's probable, okay. Probable, he was late addition to the injury report, missed a win. He missed it last game, back in action. Um, let's see. Okay, nothing about him being on an injury report or anything like that. Let's just check. Let's check X really quickly, just in case. <laughs> My algorithm for X is just betting, 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 which I don't mind. All right, let's check it out. Devin Bissell over 21 and a half points, right? For plus money, damn. Maybe we just look at 20. If we can get 20 plus, 
on we can on DraftKings. Maybe we do an alternate line here. That's what we'll do. But I like that as a single play if you're getting plus money for that. I don't think that that's plus money on every on every book, right? Caesars, okay, most of them it is, but yeah, good value over on FanDuel. Let's do over 19 and a half here. Just 20 points would get the job done. 24 last time they played Golden State. He's hit the over in 52% of games this year. Seven of his last 10 and in five of his last six. This will be a good way to look at this. So uh, Devin Vassell here, where's he at? Devin Vassell, that is not him. Devin Vassell. Cool. Devin Vassell. Points shooting the ball against Golden State. 19th they're ranked. It's not great. Um, and sort of where are they at for this? Okay, so they're actually allowing plenty of scoring in a sense, his, his scoring type. Um, let's send this to a poll. Over 19 and a half. That'll be a 20 plus um, within the alternate lines there. Let's jump in and get that thing ready in case we pull the trigger on it. Twenty plus right there. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Appreciate the the uh, the super chats that we've got, um, both from Helping Hands as well as Nismo. Uh, if you guys want to make sure that you know, and, and again, it's not required or anything like that. But if you want to make sure you see my comment, that's a great way to do it. And I appreciate the hell out of everyone you know coming through, and especially if you donate, like definitely not not necessary, but appreciate it so much. So, looks like this one's not getting the look here. All right. Doesn't... Yeah, this might be more of an alternate line, but looks like uh, Devin Vassell isn't getting the, the run. I don't mind that, but maybe that's similar to what we just talked about, too. Like, it's not a parlay play. It's potentially more of a, um, you know, like a play that you, you take a little bit more of a flyer on. Like, when we do these parlays, we're taking some alternate lines. We're really looking for... Um, Harry, I, I like that one. Harry, we'll look at that next, okay? Um, you're taking more of a flyer on straight bets to some degree because you're looking at odds and whatnot. But for, you know, to some degree here, when you're looking for parlays, you're looking for, like, locks, and I want something that everyone's going to agree on to some degree too, right? I feel like I said to some degree a bunch of times. But Harry says Cade Cunningham over two and a half threes. So Cade, three-pointers made here. Um, it's at two and a half for plus 135. He has been cashing it. Charlotte obviously not covering uh, the perimeter or anything, you know, really well. They don't do much uh, well. The, above the break three, they have been pretty good at. Um, let's see how he's, his shot type kind of fits this. So Charlotte, okay, it's it's not the best of matchups, Okay. And he didn't hit it last time. This may be one. If we could get, can we get potentially over one and a half? That's going to be too juiced. That's, see, that's at plus 135. Harry, that's probably, that is probably a, a good single bet. I don't know about taking uh, that one in a parlay. Unless we want it. I see a lot, I see a lot of people commenting. Screw it, guys. This, this is going to absolutely nuke our parlay in a good way, odds wise. Let's see what we got. I see a lot of people kind of behind Cade today. All right, so we're adding in an, a third option for other Cade stat because I do see some people saying points for him. Um, so we'll do... Actually, no, no, no. We, we, we can't. We, that gets way too confusing, all right? Yes or no? What am, I, what am I trying to complicate things here for, huh? Yes or no, Cade cutting him over two and a half three-pointers made. He's been crushing it. The volume's there. I'm not knocking the volume. Three out of eight. Yeah, I mean, on the season here, from his percentage rise, 35% shooter. But in his last 10, he's been shooting it at a 43% clip. This is going to be a big one. This this is this is the type of thing that juice like juices a parlay, in a sense. In the opposite of a juice, I guess. Like, it's not juiced. Wow. Cade supporters out and about. I see a lot of... This is, this is interesting. A lot of people liking Cade. A lot of people not liking Cade. Marcio, we can look at that one too. That was one of my uh, final plays here for uh, my YouTube video today as well. Mm 
This Cade one at plus whatever here is about to be in our parlay. If you guys, if it, it is, this is like a, this is an absolute uh, polarizing pick here. huh? Some people hate it. Some people love it. Plus 130 as a leg of a parlay is crazy. All right, let's let's run a let's run a uh, let's run a, a twenty-two second poll. This is close. Fifty-five percent or more gets it in there, guys. Fifty-five percent or more. Yeah, I hear you, Caleb. Like, there's there's a bunch of people asking for Cade other stats, but that just we we gotta we gotta stick. This, this is why we have the polls. You know what I mean? This is why we have the polls. All right, ending that one looks like Cade finishes with 61% of you psychos. That's that is a crazy ish one to me. Starting our parlay off of the plus 130 after my little rant about we're looking for locks in the parlay, but maybe this is a part this is an absolute, you know, lock and I just am unaware, right? But feel free to fade that one. Feel free to do anything, guys. Feel free to ride it, you know, like we we got we got hundreds of people in here voting. You know, it's, it's a consensus pick, and, and we got to trust that. All right, let's keep going here. Um, let's see. Rachel says, Duran over 11 and a half rebound. Oh, we already have this game, so we can't do that now. We don't want this to turn into a uh, SGP or an SGPX, but we could look at that if we start another uh, parlay. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. under six and a half rebounds from Joey here. So MPJ under six and a half. Under six and a half, so he's cashed the under. Where are we at? In two straight. He's cashed in four of his last ten. That ain't that great, but he's cashed in three straight against Toronto. Um, we're looking for Toronto to be good against the power forward here at rebounding. Um, actually, the, the small forward, technically, right? At rebounding, and they actually allow plenty. Little, little risky there. Um, rebound chances for Porter. Let's see. He's averaging 10, so he should get 5. He's getting 70% of his. Let's throw this to a vote. This this may be... This smells of like a single play for me, though. Not necessarily a parlay play. But that's what I said about the Cade Cunningham play, right? You guys dunked on me. Got the screen up. My bad. Yeah, Caleb, you're just gonna fade this. You're gonna fade this this one, right? Oh, that'd be great. A faded parlay. I mean, I've always thought if you got everything wrong in a parlay, they should pay you to some degree. You know what I mean? Like, it's just as hard to get everything in a parlay wrong as it honestly is as it is to get it right. All right, this one does not look like it has the juice off to the early races. I right, no MPJ under six and a half boards. Poor MPJ. I guess that is good. MP no, it's not poor for him. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got. Yeah, Steven, more live streams coming soon. We just got to figure it out. I'm going to be on vacation starting well, tomorrow night, really. Uh, and then for the next six days, five days. I don't know. So no stream next Monday because of vacation. Um, going down to South Carolina for a golf trip. We'll still be making content, just no live stream. I'm bringing my my uh, you know my my second computer, my laptop, and whatnot too. So we'll see. Um, the juice we can't do Dern because we already have Cade Cunningham in here. Let's see. Uh, Antone says Bradley Beal points plus assists over four. Uh, Bradley Beal. <laughs> I started the sentence with Bradley Beal and ended it with him. So what do we say? Points plus assists. That's 21 and a half. He's cashed this now. Keep in mind, if we put this to a poll, Devin Booker's coming back with Devin Booker. Turns into that. With Devin Booker turns into that, right? That being said, him getting the... Let's get back here. Him getting the, the shooting guard start here. Yeah, shooting guard. Excuse me. Ooh. The Cavs actually have not been allowing that many. The Cavs have been middle of the pack there. Assists, they're decent at. 
I think we. I think I'm going to pass on that one just because of Devin Booker. Like that probably is going to hit and make me look like an idiot. But I'm a little bit afraid of that. Uh, of that Bradley Beal. John says Alex Caruso under 17 and a half PRA. High scoring game, but yeah, he's been cashing this head to head. He's cashed it. Not with the minutes really though, right? Like in terms of where he's been playing minutes wise, it's been right around. Mm, let's look at his last 10. Then we can do these minutes. Last 10, he's getting 30 minutes. So if we look at him on the season, let's go minutes 30 plus, right? So he's only hit the under in 35% of games, but he didn't play that many minutes. It's almost like he got paced out by Dallas last time. Dallas, a, a good matchup for the over, but again, like if we get rid of these minutes, reset, like he's cashed the under in plenty of games here. We could send this to a vote. My one concern with this, like I was saying, is the fact that this could be a fast paced game. Like that is my, probably my number one concern to be completely honest. But the season long, like that data speaks for itself. Um, and let's see if we do like DraftKings. Uh, let's this is what we'll do. This is what I like to do for PRA on this site as well. Alex Caruso, team ranks versus player type. Go to FanDuel. You can kind of just see. Let's see where's uh where is. Okay, okay. Where are we at? We're looking for Dallas kind of green across the board in terms of a matchup right like this is just me looking at everything so we looked at points it's it's specific for points rebounds is going to filter this but if you just do FanDuel something like that you'll be able to see everything kind of across the board um not that you couldn't already but you know just just an easy way to doing it I right, probably have to put a timer on this one because this is a split one all right, 20 second timer starting now. We'll see where this turns out. Again, it's got to be 55% for Caruso to take this one. 55 or more. Uh, let's see, your mom's basement. We'll look at, we can look at IO and we did, we already looked at two IO props earlier. Oh, I did say we we're going to look at the Olenic under. All right, we'll get to the Kelly. Okay, so it doesn't, that's 50-50. That is close. That is close. That is a close one. Let's look at uh, that Olenek one because we got him at seven and a half earlier. Um, and if you watch my, my videos early in the morning, each and every day, uh, there was some value because he's now at six and a half, right? We could still probably take his under what on DraftKings if we wanted to. Because I've seen a lot of people ask for this one. So let's see. Against Denver. Player rebounds. I could find it. So Kelly Olynyk's is six and a half now for plus money. I still don't mind it for plus money. Um, is alternate here. Kelly Olynyk under. Okay, so we could do under. Oh, damn, that sucks. I don't have seven and a half anymore. We could do under six and a half for plus money. Maybe this turns into a plus money thing. Let's see. So the reason I like that is one, he's been cashing the under here. Uh, Denver, a good rebounding team against centers, right? Uh, just overall, obviously, you have Jokic in there as well. But, you know, top 10, last seven here. Um, heading back over to uh, the courtside pal, you can see Kelly Olynyk. If we look at team ranks versus whatever, rebounds here, you can see Denver. Pretty good rebounding, um, preventing them there. Uh, you know, 15th, not all that great. And he's just not getting the rebound chances. So Kelly Olynyk. averaging 8.1 rebound chances over the last 10. You may be thinking, okay... Oh, well, that's 10 games. He hasn't been playing that many minutes. The last five games, which he has been playing minutes, 10.5 rebound chances. So I got it at eight, right? Eight. Don't mind six and a half for plus money. Let's 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 put it to a poll here. But I got it at, I didn't get it at eight. I got it at seven and a half. So we'd need eight for it to go over, right? Well, let's see what we think of that bad boy. Again, guys, if you missed it earlier on in the stream, I'll take a second to plug this. We do have a deal going on right now. Code stream to save at checkout over on the Fade Me store. If you guys do want to check out and support, head over to FadeMe.store. Use code stream when you check out. And we're not putting that anywhere on social or anything like that. Like We're literally just saying it in this stream.
All right, doesn't look like the Kelly Olynyk one is getting the fly here. It is close. We'll let it run a little bit longer. I don't think we need to send it to a timer because it's just bouncing back and forth. Yeah, that's a, that's a 51-49 all day long. I still like it at 7.5. 6.5, a little bit more dicey to be completely honest. Um, we can get Celtics props for sure, Edward. We're just going through what the what the chat's saying here. Uh, Bob, we added that into our first parlay here, which is right here. So Vucevic over 10 and a half. It's already in there. Steven says Contavious Caldwell Pope over one and a half three pointers made. The volume could be an issue. Let's see what we got. Six threes. Let's do a quick pulse check on the chat. Is this something that we'd like? Is that a, is that a play that we'd like? I mean, we know he's going to get some sort of uh, attempts here. Toronto allowing the fourth most to shooting guards. Contavious Caldwell Pope happens to be getting that start at the shooting guard, covered by Grady Blank. Wow, this is this is giving a pulse check. We're off to a the races here. Sixty five percent of people liking that one right now. When I say I don't like Jared Allen, is it because I'm missing a bunch of Jared Allen comments? I'm not doing that on purpose. Or Grayson Allen? Who are we talking? Oh, Jared Allen. Yeah. Reminder: This is the uh, this is the first parlay that we threw in earlier, plus six ninety nine over on DK. Wow, I am surprised people are loving this one so much. All right, Contavious Caldwell Pope looks like he's getting the. Is this going to be a three point made parlay? Because I'm kind of down for it. If you guys know, I love those stats. Uh, plus two ninety four already because of that Cade one, and now we're looking for one more there. Contavious Caldwell Pope over one and a half three pointers made. I got to get the uh, Cade in here as well, right? See, those are locked in so I can share them afterwards. Okay, looking for one more <laughs> Grady Blank. Um, all right, Jared Allen, what, what are we looking for here, Caleb? I'm missing it. Jared Allen in points over points. And we have that game freed up, right? I mean, he's not going to get 18 and a half. What are we, 15 points? That's going to that's gonna wreck all this good that we're doing with this plus money. I mean, if we threw in... Jared Allen for, for 15 points is, is a little bit too low, I think. Let's see. Let's see. For for 15 plus for him alternate, that's I like that thought, but not necessarily for plus 448. I'm not going to hate it. Oh, I was thinking that was going to tank it a little bit more like this, right? Where it's like, what the hell? Plus 450-ish, that really isn't one that I'm hating. Okay, so I'll put my foot in my mouth there. Allen obviously is going to be good, but let's see how he is without um, Donovan Mobley. And this line is we want 540. He's cashed in plenty of games this year without those guys. All right, we could send this to a vote. I mean, it's an alternate line. Big alternate line. When voting on this, you're pretty much saying, do you want this number to be higher? It's plus 448. That's a cool parlay with me, right? But do we want this number to be higher? Because that is a... Pretty significantly juiced play. <laughs> Back and forth with this one, too. Again, Jared Allen, 15 plus threes is the prop in question here. It's interesting. It's got to be... All right, no spamming plays, all right? We try to get to the comments. You spam it. That's how you're going to get put in timeout. And boy, I wonder who I'm talking about. 
This is tough. We should probably put up a timer for this one. Jay Fizzle, I need some whiskey. I do need some damn whiskey. All right, let's put up a timer for this one. All right. Get out of here if you're going to spam. All right, let's, let's see what we got here. Putting this one. This is close. Jared Allen, 15 plus points. Again, the thing is, the thing is, uh, it really comes down to whether or not we want to pay this juice in the parlay. You know, like, yes, it's probably going to happen. Let's see if we want to pay the juice. Plus 448, I don't mind. Don't mind it one bit. We got a, we got a middle kind of one. We got a long shot. We got a lock. And it looks like as the vote is going, we got one second left. Caleb, you're getting your wish, my man. All right, so this parlay, I guess we'll throw, I guess, you know, 10 bucks on that too. We could do some sort of a round robin for it. Nah, we'll just do the, we'll do the parlay. So let's just place that. Um, and all right, I'm going to tweet this one out now too. Do we do one more parlay? Do we throw together one more, we think? Let's see, why did we put it in timeout? Uh, because it was absolutely, absolutely spamming plays. The one thing I say is you can comment your play again and again and again, but um, I'm not going to tolerate someone just clogging the chat by spamming one uh, total that we're not even... We're looking at player props in this video too. So yeah, I don't like spam. We're all adults here. Let's act like it. Um, can you explain round robins? Okay, so Yenu, round robins are essentially... So this play here, right? If it were to be a round robin... Each of these three legs of the parlay would be paired together with one another. So if two out of the three hit, you'd hit this one, right? That type of thing, but not this one, you know, everything like that. So pretty much you'd be, I think that would be like, what, six bets or something like that. So it would put them all together and then each individual combination possible you'd be playing as well. So it costs a lot more, but obviously you can kind of, um, you know, I guess help yourself, uh, you know, if one misses because then you have that one out in a sense, but all the other ones that are connected that did hit would cash. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Essentially, you're pairing up all of the legs of the parlay with one another. All right, we'll do one more parlay here before we close up shop. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, let's see. I see Vassell's assist. Do we like the over? Is that what you're saying, Isaiah's? Where's my water? All right, let's look at Devin. I think Devin Vassell assist was the, the first one that caught my eye there. All right, so he's cashed this in eight of his last 10. Really is when that started to pick up here. He's not looked all that great in his last couple games against Golden State, but he did have nine last time they played, which was last game. I believe that was without Wembenyama, right? So with Wemby, with Wemby, he's only cashed in 31% of games this year, but in seven of his last 10 with Wemby. Potential assist-wise, let's see. 9.9 potential assists over his last 10 games. That's definitely interesting to see. Let's see his player type versus Golden State. I think we did we look at his over rebounds and assists already? So his assists here. Golden State kind of towards the better end of, of preventing that. But we could throw this one into uh, a, a poll here. I think we're going to do it. We'll do a two-man. Um, I'll put this in the chat here. So we're going to do a two-man because we haven't done a two-man parlay yet. We'll put this in the uh, in the, the pin there so we know. But let's put this to a vote because he's been cashing it. I just don't love the matchup. But over four and a half assists, he's averaging 10 p 
potential assists per game. That's sort of a ratio that I really don't mind. So let's see what we got. Damn, all right. You guys are flooding this one. Let's get some more votes in there, though. All right, I think this Vassell one's going to make it. We looked at his scoring and everything earlier, but Devin Vassell, player assists. All right, come on down. All right, first one on there, Devin Vassell, over four and a half assists. Now we're looking for one more. And before we do get into that, I do want to say I know there's been so many, so many comments that we're not seeing. Like I've said multiple times, but I do like to take the time in case there's new people tuning in. I want to get to plenty of, of comments and everyone's comments, but we don't always, one, see everyone because I got the chat here and it's going because you guys are so supportive and joining and interacting with the stream, right? So um, we'll try and get everyone involved. Make sure you guys are tuning into other streams and, and you know other streams that we do and everything like that because uh, I want to get to every comment. But unfortunately, as we grow, we get more people in the streams. Like I said, good problem to have, but we do miss out some comments. So I'd love to get to all the comments, but we have to skip some sometimes just to catch up to recent comments, right? So unfortunately, that's the case, but I'd rather talk about it than you guys sitting there thinking I'm seeing comments, ignoring it. No, we have to look at the chat, find some that we like, dissect it. That's how it is. I don't think you've ever made Celtics final play. I don't really bet Celtics spread all that much, but I've made them final plays before. Um, but I'm like such a big Celtics fan that I like watching them just as much as I do betting on other teams in a sense. So like them winning gives me enjoyment just like betting on a team and cashing something would. All right, we can't do any more Spurs plays because we do have Devin Vassell in right now. Uh, let's see. Paul says, uh, repeat that Bruins parlay. Hell yeah. So this is a $10, uh, super chat earlier. We'll pop it up on the screen. It should pop up on the screen here. Um, coming in. So it was, uh, actually doesn't pop this up, but it was Brad Marchand, Brad Marchand, David Pasternak and Jake DeBrusque all to record over 0.5 assists. So the three of those, he said it paid nine X. So again, Marchand, Pasternak and DeBrusque over 0.5 assists, each of them. All right, let's see. Jimmy says, how do you feel about Bridges over 22 and a half today? I'm assuming we're talking Macau Bridges. I mean, excuse me, not, not him, Miles Bridges. Uh, let's jump in and see what we got. Miles Bridges for points. 22 and a half is what we'd be looking at, right? Do we have that line on DK? We do. I've liked him the last couple games. I've talked about that. This matchup, it's not necessarily the best. I think he does you know, we want to look at matchups for him that uh, they kind of allow a bunch of points in the paint. You can see Detroit here. They're not great, but they're not terrible in the paint. So it's probably something that maybe is a straight play, but not necessarily a parlay throw in, if that makes sense. Um, all right. Slick says, George's Niang, over 11 and a half points. Didn't envision myself taking a George Niang prop earlier today, but what do we got here? So obviously with these guys not playing, let's let's go ahead and do that. So no Mitchell, no Mobley. Uh, he definitely has cashed recently. This season he's cashing five of his last seven without these guys. Um, he's going to be getting, a, a, is he getting the start? At power forward here. Power forwards, we're looking at the Suns points. The Suns have actually been pretty good against power forwards as of late. But is it the type of power forward? Because he's going to throw in a couple threes, right? Um, you'd think. So scoring-wise, um, let's see. So shooting, Phoenix actually ranked, you know, going to give up decent shooting to him. Scoring is where they kind of are middle of the pack, but I actually really don't mind this play. This could even be like a, a straight bet. And again, we're doing a two-man here, so 
Let's see what we got for odds on this one. Like, what is this going to do to the odds? George Niang, 11 and a half. We could do... So, plus 245. If we did, like, not that we need to, but 10 plus for him. Plus one. Okay, so we'll stick to 11 and a half. Uh, let's throw this to a poll. And this could be the final one. Let's see what we think of that. GT says, say, Vicky Wemby. There you go. Ooh, this is a close one. Again, 55% or more is what this needs to be in order for it to go through. Um, and this, we're betting on a guy that should capitalize with a bunch of injuries, right? Like, that's really what we're looking for here. You can see he's been sporadic throughout the year. But with no Mobley and no Donovan Mitchell is kind of what we're looking at. Shoots like six attempts from game from beyond the arc. All right, let's get a timer going. 45 seconds here. We get it to 55% or more and it goes through. We'll see. Don't do that. Guys, this is, this is, this is the uh the the community you know what i mean like i th there's a loud majority sometimes in the comments but votes are votes you know what i mean it's at 55 right now this is going to come down to the wire 55 or more it goes through 54 or less it gets left off and looks like we're getting some no's coming in late it's 54 46 right now right when this hits one i'm pressing end poll all right end poll let's see the final results 53 so the naysayers out there worked uh you know worked this one off the board <laughs> slick says give me a chance hey slick this is your chance to take that and then rub it in people's faces you know what i'm saying all right we want one last one here let's get some bangers in the comments see what we got Time is the first game tonight. Seven. Seven. All right. Cool. We're looking for one more play to throw in. Who's going to be the lucky person? Um, Jared says Kyrie under four and a half assists. Where are we at? Like I said earlier, the one thing that worries me about this game is I think it's going to be faster paced than people might think. But Kyrie hasn't necessarily, so it's under four and a half. That would make it a plus 207 two-man parlay. Not all that terrible. Um, all right. We know Kyrie can do this. So before anyone jumps down the throat of like, oh, it's Kyrie Irving. Yeah, no kidding. We, we know he can do this. But he's actually been trending to the under, right? Two of his last 10 games is the only time that he's gone over. Uh, last 20 here, 50% to this. Let's see, assist chances over his last 10. Kyrie... 7.9. So, like I, like, I always tell you guys, what I like to do is look at that number, divide it in half, which would be four, essentially, and that should be the line, um, which is damn close to this. If we look at shooting guards against the Bulls, they're allowing a decent amount of assists over the last 10 or over the last seven games here, and a decent amount on the season. If we look at his playmaking ability, uh, the Bulls' playmaking ability against guys like Kyrie, which... Not that there is many like that, but let's see what we got. So playmaking. The Bulls. Let's see. 14th, so middle of the pack. So again, they're allowing a decent amount here. That's a tough one. We could throw it to a vote, but let's we're not gonna we're not gonna dilly dally with this vote. If it starts off hot either way, uh, we'll probably yank it. So let's see what we got. Good chance to hit that like button. I know I keep saying it in multiple times during the stream, but there is uh, 350 people in here, 200 likes. Yeah, 
Yeah, this one this one doesn't look like it's like, – see, he's been trending towards that, but he's such a good player. People are fearful of taking an under for Kyrie, and I understand that. I do. Uh, let's see. Porter Jr., two and a half threes. I don't know if you're saying over or under there, Adam. Uh, let's see. I'm going to throw this there. Uh, let's see. Will you send this is for you, Golden? Both of those are my most uh, two recent tweets on there. Let's see. Where's the other one? Did I ever finish it? Oh, no. That is it, right? Yeah, okay. We got two tweets on there. I was like really confused. Um, let's see. Simon's over 21 and a half. All right, we can check that one out. He's been crushing it against the Celtics. He did not have the best game. He shot 33% there. Five of, fif- uh, five of 15. Um, what's the position he's getting to start at here? Point guard. Not really a true, true point guard, but Celtics have been letting up a decent amount of points to point guards on the season. Um, not as of late, though. They've locked up. But you can see, where are they? So Boston is middle of the pack now. I believe if I look at 2023 as a whole, uh, they were up here. Actually, so they've gotten a lot better because they were up here for a while. I know we looked at that a few times. But let's see how they are against guys like Devin Vassell. Devin Vassell. How about we check out Anthony Simons? All right, so Celtics look like they are going to lo- clamp him pretty well for his type of a player. So we probably don't even put that to a poll. Um, let's see. Errol, the final plays for the normal uh, video will be in the pin comment of the other video, not of the live stream. Those we tweet out. They're in the stream. Um, I posted a link a bunch of times, but on my Twitter, I could post it again. We have everything that we've locked in on here. So these are just community parlays. They're not really truly my total opinion or anything like that. Uh, just sort of stuff that we've stumbled upon uh, as a community on the stream. Um, all right, we can look at this one because I talked about it earlier. Uh, DeMar DeRozan over 35 and a half PRA. He's been crushing that line, right? Absolutely been crushing that line. Um, it's just getting really inflated. But DeMar DeRozan, he's crushed it four straight games. Last time he played Dallas, didn't hit it. Hit at the time before that. Uh, small forward, power forward, shooting guard, wherever you want to peg him as. Dallas, decent matchup for him, right? Um, we didn't look at his scoring against Dallas. We did already say that it's not the worst matchup for anything else. But let's see. So DeMar DeRozan, team ranks versus player type. Uh, we're looking at Dallas here. So his scoring type, Dallas looks like they're actually pretty good at. Shooting, not so much. Playmaking, rebounding, he could do some damage in. I do like the idea of, of this play to some degree because you can see Dallas been struggling in the mid-range as of late. So we can send this to a poll, but ultimately, um, you know, it's it's a good matchup, but not necessarily his type of of player, I guess. Like, it, I know it's weird to be like, well, he's good at mid-range, but everything else, shooting and scoring from a player type perspective via courtside there, uh, it does look like it could be a tough matchup. But the dude's been on absolute fire as of late, so let's see. Let's see. I don't I don't mind this spot whatsoever. What this would do, if you guys want to see the props here in terms of uh, what it would do to the line is um, DeMar DeRozan, this becomes a plus 230 parlay for two picks. Like, that could be a nice little spot. So let's see what the votes turn out to be. Let's get a lot of votes in here, guys. If you are watching, make sure you're voting. It helps speed things along. It's anonymous. No one's going to know who you voted for or anything like that. You know what I mean? Uh, Jazzy, the Bruins parlay that we talked about was Marshawn, Pasternak, and DeBrusque all over .5 assists. Let's run this poll for 45. This, this isn't looking all that great for DeMar here. Again, it's an inflated line, so I get it if people are saying no, but he has been kind of going off. End poll. All right, let's see where this ends up. 
54 percent a lot of no snuck in there last second that i i think i saw 57 as i said no to that let's see what else we got all right isaac okoro over one and a half threes let's see Definitely should have more volume with those guys out. He's hit it in six of his last 10. Without these guys playing, does he crush? Not as much as you'd think, I guess. Um, let's get rid of this. Last time he played this team, he had four threes made. Okay. Getting the start at, where are we at here? Cleveland, Cleveland, where are you? Getting the start at small forward. Small forwards for three-pointers made. The Suns. Middle of the pack, nothing that would turn me off of it, right? What would that do to the money if we looked at that? He should have a little bit more volume. To plus 224. We'll see. We do have a Discord uh, only bands. I posted it earlier. I don't see. I might even still have it copied. Yeah, right here. Completely free to enter, guys. Just go talk with like-minded betting people. All right, so we're looking at his shooting here. So Phoenix, I mean, he ranks fairly well for, you know, in terms of his player type, which is an SH5 shooter five, which if we want to know the ant what that means is a player that uh, 3.35% of his jump shots, 58% um, jump shooter, Essentially, they're just saying, what type of shooter are you, right? Um, okay, let's put that to a vote. I do think there's going to be more volume. Is it a lock? No, but I don't mind the minus 120 odds. Like, that's decent in a two-man parlay. Again, is anything we're doing a lock? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Jeremy says, don't fade the like button, guys. Yeah, do not fade the like button. Don't be a guppy either. You see it up there? Can I get this in camera? Boom. Don't be a guppy. What we have so far is Vassell. That's been locked in. We're looking for one more here. I kind of like this Okoro one now that now that I'm thinking about it more. Like, let's see. When he when he when those guys so last 10 games, 4.6 attempts with no Donovan Mitchell. 4.9 attempts. 45% there without him. So 48, it's, it's fairly flat percentage-wise too. Let's go 30 seconds on the clock. 30 seconds on the clock. We'll see where this one comes out. These polls are coming down to the wire. Like seriously, 58, 57, 55 percenters, that type of thing. Scoob, that's awesome. Four seconds, three, two. Right as this ends, I'm hitting it. 50, that was a 50-50 pull. Seriously, we are getting some close ones right now. Um, all right, let's see what else we got. Uh, Jay, on the in on the pin comment, actually at the bottom of the pin comment, I answer that. So every play, if it doesn't denote how many units, it's one unit of a play. Okay, if it says anything other than that, then it's that many units. I think there's one that's a point two five today. <laughs> Kieran says we just want you to stream all night. So that's why we're saying no. Um, yeah, we could do that really quick, Reza. So where the sharp money is, Mavs, Bulls. Actually, we don't we just have percent of bets. We don't have percent of money yet uh, on Outlier, so we don't know um, where that is. Maybe it's on scores and odds, which it's all depend on where they get their data from. I do really like Outlier. I trust that. But let's see. Sharp money is all over Dallas for total and for spread. But again, depending, I don't know where scores. A lot of free tools like scores and odds, like they might be pulling their their percentages from a. I'm not sure where actually. Um, all right, Edward says Al Horford over nine and a half points. Do we like that? Let's see what we got here. What would that do to the odds? Because that's a uh, finally get a Celtics one in there, like we were talking about. Nine and a half points plus 100 plus 253. Could this be the move? No, Chris stops. Kind of geared up. If we're going Al Horford, I don't mind that. Let's see. 
Who doesn't love a little Big Al? I feel like everyone should love him. Um, no Chris stops here, right? Head to head, he's cashed this. That's without Chris stops as well. Um, without Chris stops head to head, I guess, or with without even that being taken into account, that's also the same. Um, twenty twenty three here. Would it without Chris stops? Where are we at? Definitely hits it more. Nine and a half is a decent amount. What is his threes? One and a half. And then what if we look at his threes without Chris stops? Sixty seven percent. So his volume goes up there as well. Do we look at his? Let's put this to a, a vote right here. All right. Let's put this to a vote. If this is if this is a no, we're gonna run his three pointers because I like that one as well. So actually, um, we'll do this. Whatever wins outright here, we'll probably roll with because now we have three options, right? So I guess we could say it needs to be more than 30-something, but uh, let's see, because we can also do his three-pointers to see what gets, but I don't mind his nine and a half. Like, what's Portland going to do inside? I know Al Horford isn't a guy that bangs with the, the bigs, right, all that much, but, like, what's he going to do? Like, what who who is going to do anything to him, you know, uh, on, on Portland? Like, yeah, we have um, DeAndre Ayton back, but, like, I don't necessarily think that DeAndre Aiden's going to be this bulldog against that big Al. Uh, my size is a large. These do run like true to size little baggy though. So it's not slim fit or anything, Charlie. If you do want to pick this up, this thing is, I mean, geez, these things are good, good quality. And obviously the price speaks for itself, but I think that we show that like everything we have is well-priced. Uh, this is, these, these champion hoodies are awesome. So I'm a large, true large. Um, in fact, some larges can be a little snug me if they're like supposed to be slim fit or something. Um, but this is a large and I love the fit of it. All right, let's start that poll because this thing's, uh, you know, actually, no, we don't need to start the timer because we have three votes there. I said, looks like Al Horford's going to be the last piece here. He's got 57% in a three-way vote. So that is way more than even just looking at this. And we have plus 100 odds. Guys, let's get to do it. We'll throw 10 bucks on here so we got some, got some action going. I'm going to tweet this out right now as well. And then I'll throw it in the comments. And actually, we got to make sure that this is coming your way, right? So... Al Horford, and then Vassell. Add this. You guys can tail this if you'd like with this link. It's going to show you all the sports books that it's offered on. Um, we were on DraftKings there. You could have gotten better odds on FanDuel or BetMGM. Stupid us. We locked it in. Um, but that's why we should have checked that. So make sure to check that. But yeah, we're tweeting this out right now. Now I lost my screenshot. All right. We just tweeted that out, guys. Go make sure to check it out over on Twitter. But I think that's going to wrap it up for the show for tonight. We'll hang out for a couple more minutes, um, but pretty beat. I was excited for this one. we been working a lot today. We've been doing a lot more. Um, one last thing, actually. So if you guys don't know, we do... PGA videos now for some elevated tournaments. We had Arnold Palmer last week. We made a few units there. Um, and now we have the Players Championship. I love golfing and I love um, betting on golf. So it's just kind of natural that it's, it's coming back to the channel. Uh, excuse me as I freaking try and fight this burp. Um, but nonetheless, did that just come out? Nonetheless, look at myself, a little burp womp womp there. But nonetheless, uh, that video is going to be coming out Wednesday morning. But we did a lot today. Put together a model for that. Put together our, our you know, shorts that we put on the channel. Put together our main uh, video. And then also this one as well. So appreciate everyone uh, tuning in, uh, making this all worthwhile. You know, we had a bunch of people in the stream. You know, we got a decent amount of likes, 246. I'd love to see us get to the 250 number, but who knows if it's in the cards. Um, but if you haven't liked it, go ahead and like this stream guys we're gonna be here every monday night just not next monday because we will be traveling still gonna produce daily content for you guys um just kind of on a to-go setup just not necessarily um the stream on monday so yeah i guess that uh, i guess that's all i wanted to touch on there appreciate everybody tuning in seriously and we'll catch you guys in the uh in the next one all right peace out